Hi everybody, this is the notes for uh, chapter 3, section 1. All of chapter 3 we'll be talking about uh, different types of systems of linear equations, dealing with systems of inequalities. Um, there's many ways to solve systems, and so in this first section we're going to talk about two different ways. One is graphing, one is substitution. All right, first thing we're going to do is just talk about what it means to solve a system uh, and then go into the different methods. So there's going to be three videos. First one will be kind of short. Other one's not too bad. Okay, so first off, what is a system of equations? It's just a collection of equations using the same variables. Um, you know, basic ones look like what you're looking at here in this example. You have two equations, you have two variables, y and x. And you are going to see this kind of bracket, that's the, the, the notation says, this is a system of equations. These equations are related to each other and, and being used together. You know, you could have three equations, three variables, four equations, four, four variables, and so on. Um, but it's just it's a collection of equations dealing with the same variables. The solution to a system is the set of values uh, for those variables that satisfy all of the equations. And that's a key thing. It's got to satisfy them all. Um, and what that means is, is what we're looking at here with this example. So we have this system, y equals x minus 2 and y equals 3 fourths x. Um, you have this system. Uh, I'm just going to tell you the solution is 8, 6. This is an x value. This is a y value. So our answer is just a point. But what it means to satisfy all the equations, if you plug in the x and y into the first equation, plug in the x and y into the second equation, 8 minus 2 is 6, so it satis this point satisfies the first equation, it also satisfies the second equation because 3 fourths of 8 is 6. So this is the solution, get rid of the x and y, this is the solution to that system because it works. It's the, the set of x and y values that satisfy both equations. Another way to look at or think about what a solution is, and I'm going to come go to this graph in the second video, but um, we're looking at systems of linear equations. So here's one line. There's a second line. Where they cross is at this point. All right, that's a point. It's an x and a y value that is on both lines, meaning it's a point in both equations. It's the x and y values that work in both equations. So we're looking at an intersection of two lines. That's another way to look at the uh, solution to a system. Okay, um, that is it for this first video. Pay attention to the, for the second video for what you'll see right here, graphing as a, a way to solve systems.